Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the James Willowitz Central High School here in DeWitt, New York for this Section 3 quarterfinal matchup. So they got to do a better job of boxing out and creating separation between them and their defender. Three-pointer for Caden Morris. And the Warriors have to be feeling good about things right now. Koberger there, 15 seconds on the shot clock. Koberger with the three. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Matt Keeler's in this game now. Now Koberger spinning around. And no one can stop the protagonist inside of the paint. It's just impossible. Now Koberger on the wing, crossover dribble, tries to get inside, behind the back pass to Matt Keeler, bounce pass to Skellinger, wide open lane, until Ryan Cook found out what he was doing. And now Delpha on the fast break, Stickle. No one underneath the basket, reverse action, doesn't even have to look at the basket, and the Red Rams are up. Now Onate, little stop and go to no avail. Scalinger fights for that rebound. And no one is there for Anthony Stickle. And it pays dividends. A roller coaster of emotions they're taking us on right here. A full-on Jerry Springer show. Now Cook fading away. And you are not the father. Passing round to Morris. Through two, three, foul, and one. Stickle. And that's the spark the Red Rams have needed for at least two quarters. They haven't gone with too many substitutions so far today, though. They've mostly relied on the same seven or so players. And why not when Caden Morris can hit three-pointers like that? One thing is for sure, Nick, and that's that someone's going to experience heartbreak tonight. And again, the press is proving to be the key to their defense. And how did Ryan Cook make that shot? The fourth foul of the night for Brendan Koberger. Six seconds on the shot clock. Red Rams got to get one up now. Stickle does. And it floats in! Timeout called by Whitesboro as the Red Rams storm the court. The chant doesn't get to him. Fading away, Morris up to 16 points, and he gives Whitesboro the lead. Oh my goodness, they needed to play perfect defense, and they had it up until the final shot. One errant pass will cost the Red Rams their season. The passing from here on out must be perfect. Brendan Koberger saves the Red Ram season! He goes to the line with 0.4 seconds on the clock! And who else but Brendan Koberger? And it's off. For the first time this season, we are going to overtime. Those fouls carry over, so Brendan Koberger still has to play immaculately. Aiden Bates with a dynamite three-pointer! The hopes and dreams of the Red Rams on his back. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Koberger can't foul here, but he is successful in diverting the shot. Oh, there was clenching during that possession, let me tell you. The Red Rams are up by one. There is no shot clock. If they do not turn the ball over, they have this one in the bag. Or maybe they won't. They'll waste time. Oh, no. They give it back. And Stickle with a crucial block. Anthony Stickle might have just saved the Red Rams' season. He made a crucial error and then made up for it with a huge play. It's Anthony Stickle. And I think it's fair to say Whitesboro's season is over. The James Hill DeWitt Red Rams hang on for dear life. And they take the victory 46-42 in overtime over the Whitesboro Warriors who came out to play. Have a very good night wherever you may be.